Good morning and welcome to Out of the Box Technologies, Technology Tuesday. We're going to give others just a few moments to join, but we will get started shortly. Hi, Lindsay. Kevin has been able to join now. We're going to be getting started shortly. We're going to just wait one more minute. We've got a couple more folks joining. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Thank you all for joining. Introducing Lightspeed, your next point of sale solution. 
If it's been a little while since you've joined us for a webinar, or if you're new, welcome. We're Out of the Box Technology, and we are anything and everything QuickBooks. Our growing team of over 50 QuickBooks certified consultants and service providers is your one-stop shop for all your QuickBooks needs. We can help you with purchasing QuickBooks product, data migrations, if you're moving to QuickBooks desktop to online, or if you're new to QuickBooks, we also can help you with monthly bookkeeping, cloud hosting, and training and consulting. Today, we're excited to have Lightspeed with us, our partner for point of sale solutions. At this time, I'm going to change presenters and hand it over to Lightspeed. Hi everyone, thank you so much all for joining. My name is uh, Emily Lobb and I'm the main point of contact here at Lightspeed for Out of the Box Technology. My colleague KG is gonna be presenting, but while he's getting set up, I wanted to thank you all for joining today so that you could learn more about uh, our point of sale solution. And of course, thank you to Lindsay and the team at Out of the Box for hosting us. And to give you a bit of an idea of why we're speaking with you today, we've been invited by the Out of the Box team because QuickBooks Point of Sale, as I'm sure many of you know, is uh, being discontinued soon. And Lightspeed is a really great solution and alternative to QuickBooks Point of Sale. So today we're going to be introducing our solution uh, and our colleague KG is also gonna be doing a brief demonstration. At the end, we'll also do some frequently asked questions and any other questions that you guys may have. So I'm gonna pass it off to him now for the mic and thank you all again for joining. All right, thank you, Emily, and welcome aboard everybody. It's a pleasure to be working with all of you today. So uh, like I had mentioned, uh, the goal for today is just to kind of give you a general outline of what Lightspeed's offering uh, along with uh, out of the box. So I'll go ahead and get started. So as many of you know, QuickBooks as a QuickBooks point of sale user, um, QuickBooks plans to retire the point of sale product uh, this October. So it's only a month and a half away. Uh, while that may seem far enough, uh, this date is quickly approaching. So in, pro in preparation for the coming change, we encourage you to start thinking about where you'll migrate your business once QuickBooks point of sale is retired. Uh, we know you have a lot to consider as you make this decision. We're here to make that decision a little easier. Uh, we recommend Lightspeed Retail as an alternative to QuickBooks point of sale that will help you meet your current business needs and more. Uh, here's what you can expect when you switch to Lightspeed. So the first things again, uh, just to kind of give you an introduction, my name is Kevin or KG. Um, I will be essentially going through the, um, what Lightspeed has to offer. And uh, again, like Emily had mentioned, a short demonstration with a partner trainer here, just ensuring that everyone is aligned with who our ideal customer is, which is everyone that works with out of the box. So, all right. So as of October 3rd, uh, into and payments will be turned off and point of sale product will be uh, unsupported. Uh, Intuit is pushing, of course, Shopify, uh, but that does not mean it is the best fit for your business. So the way I would always think of this is prepare, uh, always to just be prepared for the switch. Uh, we know that October is coming up, so this is the best uh, opportunity for everyone to start making the switch now. Uh, the last thing you want is to be uh, one, one person who is last second uh, switching over to a new point of sale as long along with hundreds if not thousands of other users uh, on the, at the same time so uh, in order for everyone to get the best possible experience we want to make sure that you're making those decisions proactively okay so uh, we'll jump into what the lightspeed solution is right so uh, lightspeed solution has been is a platform that's been growing steadily with uh, with well over a decade now. Uh, we do cover most, if not all verticals that have an inventory in some capacity. Uh, inventory is really our bread and butter. Uh, we have fully expanded our capabilities by becoming truly omnichannel, managing your entire business in one spot. And most importantly, it's easy to teach and easy to learn. But with this in mind, here are some of the top reasons why we stand out. Okay, so as you can see, things like payment processing all under one roof, keeping it simple for everyone to understand. Uh, alongside reporting, I'll go through more payment processing details in the next slide. Uh, things like loyalty and inventory. Again, that is our foundation. We've had this for years now. E-commerce and omnichannel. So even if you're using uh, an existing e-commerce platform that we have an integration with or any of our top competitors, including Shopify, we have integrations that have existed for years now. An open API means that any of you multi-location business owners or enterprise level business owners um, have a wide variety of integrations and uh, tools uh, 
that you can take advantage of to make your business that much smoother. Of course, multi-location functionality just unlocks even more features within the platform. And then one of the biggest standouts here is offline mode. So it is a cloud-based system. So if and when your internet does cut out in the store, uh, not to worry, the biggest thing here is that you're still able to transact and there is no stoppage for the customer. Okay, so we'll go into the next slide here, which goes into one of our uh, biggest selling points here is in our in-house Lightspeed payments. The key benefits here is that it is all under one roof, one support compatible with our hardware and software. It's a simple flat rate for every payment method that allows businesses to easily track and monitor their income. Right, it pays out next business days and our fee is deducted for every transaction, which means the customer yourselves will get the net payout and will not receive any additional bills. Right, no additional fees for anything, no hardware charge, no compliance fees, no rental fees, just a simple flat rate that you can report on. We also offer a competitive analysis that will allow our sales team to give you the best possible rate, uh, as well as contract buyouts. Okay. A little bit more detail here in the slides, but again, very, very big selling point, all under one roof for everyone to use. Okay. Next is our ecosystem here. And again, if any of these look familiar to you, these are all the integrations that we have currently that we also support, right? So very long list from e-commerce platforms to accounting, including QuickBooks Online and QuickBooks Desktop to appointment, loyalty, marketing, all under one roof. And again, these are integrations that we have built and supported over the years uh, and continue to build and support on. Okay, it's a very long, uh, large suite of things that'll help make your business easier to manage and again, scale uh, for, for larger business opportunities. Okay. This is in reality a, a simple way of saying there is almost nothing we cannot do with the platform that we're using, whether it is an in-house feature uh, that we update for an existing integration, chances are, we have whatever you need covered. Now, a big one is the light speed and accounting. So uh, for everyone in the room, this would probably be one of the biggest highlights uh, for, for most of you as QuickBooks uh, users is our QuickBooks integration. Uh, this integration has been around with Lightspeed X series for years and has steadily been improved on. Uh, an important thing to note here is that there is no middle person for our QuickBooks online integration. It is built and supported already for those businesses with high volume that need to be tracked in great detail, right? This integration allows for 100% accurate numbers for accounting purposes. But of course, there is that integration with QuickBooks desktop users as well. Uh, that does require a third party, uh, but we, we have it all in-house. So managed for everyone to use. So regardless of which platform of QuickBooks you're using, we got you covered. Okay. Here are a few more takeaways from the integration itself. The purpose of this is to make sure your business is successful by providing accurate numbers at all times for sales, purchase orders, uh, customer data, all of it under one roof and pushed automatically to QuickBooks. So without further ado, I'll go into a product demonstration to give you guys a more general outline of what the product offers. Let me just go ahead and try to switch my screen. Perfect. All right. So I'm gonna go through some general functionalities of the platform here. First things first, it is a cloud-based platform. So you can use this anywhere at any time. I'm using it on a Google Chrome browser. Uh, this could be used on a desktop, iPad, uh, it doesn't matter. Chances are you have the hardware already. All we have to do is plug and play for the most part. This is the sales screen. I'll come back to this shortly. I'm gonna start on the back end first. I'm gonna quickly create a product, right? The great news is, is that we're very familiar with the onboarding process is for businesses coming from QuickBooks point of sale. Uh, so because of this, we have a team that is dedicated to that, which I'll go through a little bit more later. But the simplest way to put it is, if you have a product file, which most of you do, you can export that product file, manipulate it to fit our template, and then import in bulk. So that'll turn a few days or a few weeks worth of work into a few hours, right? So for today, I'm gonna to show you the general outline of exactly how it would look to add a new product later on. So we'll just give an example of out of the box t-shirt. Yeah. You could choose a brand if you have one, you can use ones you've made in the past or create one on the fly, add in any product description, 
This will appear not only on the sales screen, so talking points about the product for you and your staff, but this will also appear on any e-commerce integrations that you may have. So 100% cotton, whatever it is. And again, as many talking points as you like. Tags and product categories, think of these as departments or subcategories in the departments. So this could be clothing, accessories, things like that. And then tags could be the subcategories in those departments, such as spring uh, collection, uh, do not discount. As much information as you want, this could be set up as 20 different tags per product. Drag and drop any images that you would like. And again, this will sync to your e-commerce platform as well. And then you have three options of your standard, your variant, or your composite. So simply put, depending on the verbiage, a standard product is a one size fits all. No product changes, it's one product. A variant is an example like the shirt we're making right now, several sizes, several colors can be created here. And then a composite is like a bundle, one product made up of several products. So for those of you that have seasonal products, you can create a bundle, sell it as one, and it'll deduct inventory from everything that's attached to it. So I'll go ahead and choose the variant, choose a supplier similar to the brand. I can create one on the fly or use one I've made in the past, enter in my supply price. So I'll say that the shirt cost me $10. Track my inventory. I can set different tax levels per location as well as per customer. I have a general price book that'll tell me what my retail price is. So I'm gonna sell it for $20. But if I have, if I sell wholesale, for example, I can create a price book that allows me to sell at different price points depending on the group. We have an in-house loyalty program. It is based off of a percentage. So I can say that I will sell the product and the customer gets 5% loyalty. This one is within the system already. And of course we have those other integrations that we went through earlier. So I'll choose my variant options. I'll say it comes in a few different sizes. We'll say it's small, medium, and large. And then I'll add in another attribute and say that it is it comes in a few different colors. So we'll say red, green, and blue. From there, we have the capability to create individual variants. So I'll add these values. And once these are added, I can, I can see here which ones I want to create. If I'm a business owner, chances are I may not purchase every size and every color. So I'll say I do not carry the large green. And I'll press save. And if I scroll down, as you can see, I just created eight new products. All of them will automatically generate a SKU. If they have an existing SKU already, I can go ahead and click here and scan in the existing ones. Each one has its own retail and supply price. And of course, each one will have its own inventory per location. So I'll say I have 10 of these. Let me know when to reorder them when there's two left so I can order 10 more. Product now exists. I will do that for every other product here. I could also do that externally if I'm a fan of Excel spreadsheets or CSVs. And then I'll press save. And now this product is available to sell in person at my store. Now let's say I have an e-commerce platform and I wanna put this on my website. I will click the drop down of this product. I'll click manage my channels and put it on my website. And just like that, everything I created within that product is now available online, all through one inventory which means that a customer purchases online will take from my in-store inventory, which means I cannot double sell or oversell a product. It'll always be 100% accurate. Okay, but now that's done. I'll go ahead and jump into the sales screen. And we'll go through some of the highlights here, including the QuickBooks integration. So this is what my sales screen will look like. Of course, it will look a little bit different on an iPad. So depending on what you have, uh, it'll look similar to this. You can scan a product and it'll populate here. You can type in a product, so a few key letters, and it'll find that product for you. And then of course I have these buttons set up where I can set a uh, different pages. I could create different folders. These are all completely custom that I've created. And this is the biggest benefit to the pictures uh, in, within the system. If I have pictures in here, it'll help my staff differentiate products. So if you are using an iPad, like you could imagine it's quick taps that you can just quickly tap and add to the sale. So from there, I added my product. So a very simple transaction would be, and I scanned it. Here's my product. If I'm a new employee and I'm not too familiar with what the product is, and a customer asks, what is it made of? I can click on the details and I can see all the product notes that we added in earlier, how much inventory I have at each one of my locations, if I need to transfer or refer the customer to a different location. And depending on my permissions, I can pick and choose if I have a price change or a discount. So I go ahead and click down press pay. As soon as they are willing to pay, I go ahead and either change the method uh, or 
change the price if they want to do a split payment. So I'll put it on debit. I could email the receipt to them, print out a gift receipt if I need to, and as well as have other receipt templates if I need it. Complete the transaction and then move on to the next sale. From there, uh, as a business, once you open and close, the way our QuickBooks integration works is through closing and opening your register. So of course, it's best practice to do so. So if I go ahead and close my register for the day and go ahead and close, and then move over into my QuickBooks integration here. There is my register closure. So here is where it will show all transactions, all customers attached to those transactions, um, all of it outlined for, for you. And again, it is done automatically. So again, that is a general overview. There is several other uh, aspects to this business, things like advanced reporting, analytics, purchase orders, um, as well as things like loyalty, marketing, all under one roof. So I'll switch back to the presentation here. And to keep it uh, more information in regards to the mobility of the actual product, we have a scanner app. Um, this is an app that you can utilize on either iPhone or Android that links directly to your account. This works on several ways. One is to do inventory counts. So if you're a business that is very inventory heavy, you can utilize the camera on your phones as well as employees to do things like mass inventory counts or even partial inventory counts. You could use it to create lists for purchase orders. You can uh, receive purchase orders using the camera. So it's a very intuitive app. I always like to say, I let the review speak for themselves. So feel free to Google Lightspeed Scanner app and you'll see there that it is an extremely intuitive app that helps all businesses utilize all the functionalities of Lightspeed and make business significantly easier for them. Next is our hardware compatibility. And again, most businesses coming from QuickBooks, chances are may have a setup like this already. So with our hardware flexibility, there's really not much that we do not support. It's a very long list of industry standard stuff that we have supported for years now. So if you have it, chances are it works. Worst case scenario, if you are looking to purchase new hardware, we have a team that can help you out with that as well internally. We have hardware that we'll distribute. In regards to the actual onboarding process, the goal here is to make this transition as smooth as possible. Again, we are very familiar with the process switching from QuickBooks point of sale into Lightspeed point of sale already, right? But what this training will include with your plans, our consultation will configure the platform, will train you on everything you need to know, depending on what the business does currently. And then of course, review and then launch. The goal is that you are up and running within our typical average of two to four weeks. Yeah. This right now will align with the sunset of QuickBooks point of sale. Right. There are several different launch packages depending on the plans that you choose. And again, this will vary depending on your needs as a business owner. Right. The sales rep will be very well inclined on exactly what type of plan will align with your business as well. Now, there is an exclusive signup offer for out of the box. So I'll go through that in a little bit more detail here. So. All businesses that have signed up with Lightspeed uh, will receive a 20% exclusive discount and a 10% exclusive discount if they decide not to use Lightspeed payments. But regardless, you will not be paying full price for a platform that will provide similar, if not more features or functionalities that you are currently using now. Right? So reach out to your out-of-box manager and you will for sure receive this exclusive discount that we're offering for out-of-the-box customers. Just some general highlights here for actual customer success stories that have come to us. So this is an example of an eight location business uh, that has utilized our platform to really streamline their system. Uh, this is an, again, example of a multi-location uh, enterprise business that needed things like an ERP system. And this is a testament to our API and integrations, the ability to utilize our platform to make everything else streamlined. Very simple and again, make it very easy for uh, staff to use. Another one here is something called Charmed Aroma. This is a business that was scaling very quickly. Uh, they were looking for something not only to make it easy for staff to quick, uh, to provide quick and easy checkouts for their customers, but to also provide them uh, the ability to create new integrations like traffic counters, 
um, or multiple Shopify websites, for example. So all of this is capable within our system uh, and uh, again, makes the business significantly easier to run. Okay. All right, so that is it for the presentation for the most part. We are gonna go through the uh, FAQ and some questions. All right, so these are some of the questions that we've received in the past. So can I continue using my QuickBooks accounting software with Lightspeed? Uh, short answer is absolutely. Uh, if you have QuickBooks online, not a problem. It's already a built and supported integration. If you have QuickBooks desktop, the same thing. We just need a connector, which we provide in-house. Okay. Uh, will the flat rate on Lightspeed payments be applied to all card types? Yes. This is for every card, including Amex, Discovery, that is a flat rate. And again, depending on the volume of your business, we can provide a statement analysis to ensure that you're getting the best possible rate. The goal here is that we're providing you the best solution, which is Lightspeed payments. All right, how long does the Lightspeed point of sale take to set up? So this is different for every single business. Uh, when it comes to onboarding timelines, if the merchant requests extra assistance for a booking with uh, one of our team members, it usually takes a few weeks. In general, our timeline to have a merchant fully onboarded is two to six weeks. Self-guided onboarding has a quicker turnaround, of course, but this is all dependent on the level of priority. The goal here is we wanna get you up and running and transactional as fast as possible. What does Lightspeed cost? Uh, this really does depend greatly on the business. Uh, so please reach out to your account manager at Out of the Box who will connect you with Lightspeed team member who will create a custom quote. It is a monthly subscription and Out of the Box customers do get a 20% discount if they take our payments. Do I have to buy new hardware? So uh, Lightspeed hardware is extremely compatible with QuickBooks point of sale hardware. In most cases, you won't have to buy any new hardware. Uh, except for in the card reader, but we do offer that uh, for free uh, for the card readers. So um, again, any new hardware, if you need it, we can provide it. But in most cases, chances are you already have something that we work with and that'll save you maybe a few thousand bucks to start. Okay. And who do I reach out to with more questions? So your account manager out of the box, priority number one, and then they will connect you with a Lightspeed team and we will be able to move forward from there. So that is it for me today. Um, we will, did not take the full hour, but that's fine. In, in this case, uh, if there are any additional questions, I'll go ahead and skim the chat. Um, yes, all right. Kenji, we've got one. Um, when you say our payments, could you provide some detail on what you mean by our payments? Uh, so that is Lightspeed Payments. Uh, so Lightspeed Payments is one platform with our uh, that is completely fully integrated and compatible with our hardware and um, and our software as well. So all under one roof, Lightspeed Payments. Uh, I'll go back to that previous slide. Thank you. And if anyone has any other questions, please feel free to pop them in the questions box and we'll go ahead and get those answered for you. If you've got questions after the presentation, we will be sending a follow-up email out. So you can always just respond to that email with any additional questions you may have after the presentation. Perfect. And again, the timeline for this is lined up really well. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, we know that it is coming shortly with uh, October just around the corner. So take advantage of the time, uh, start making the decisions now to move into something that'll make your uh, business a little easier to run. So uh, yeah, if there aren't any other questions, of course, please reach out to your account manager. They'd be more than happy to connect you with the team internally. Um, and if, uh, of course, there are offline questions afterwards, I'd be more than happy to help. Great, thank you. Well, if there are no other questions, I wanna thank everyone for joining us today. And this is a, like KG said, this is the perfect time to consider um, moving to light speed with the end of life of QuickBooks point of sale. And it's also a great um, opportunity to take advantage of that great discount that Lightspeed's offering our customers. So thanks everybody for joining today and we look forward to seeing you again on the next Tech Tuesday. Thank you everybody, have a good day. Thank you everyone. Thank you.